All right, y'all ready for some bonus content? So we've covered land deals, house deals, and my first multifamily deal. Let's talk about my first money deal, all right? So I have 15 houses, and I worked really hard with non-refundable option fees, assignment fees, wholesale fees, and just general buying and selling, fixing and flipping, making money. And when I would get that money, I didn't go to Vegas, I would pay off houses. So I've ended up with about five or six, seven now, paid off free and clear houses. Yay, debt freedom, real financial freedom, okay? That's my goal, it doesn't have to be your goal. But then I learned about private money lending and I realized that it's great that I have these houses paid off and it's fantastic that I'm getting monthly money from them, but I could, borrow against the equity that I have in these houses and then loan that money back out to other people who are doing fix and flips. And as long as I was, you know, paying three or 4% interest, but I could collect 10 or 12% interest, I made another stream of money. All right. So that's how I became a private money lender. I took a house that I had free and clear. I borrowed against it with the bank. I agreed to pay them every single month an interest payment. But then I found a fix and flipper in Memphis, Tennessee, who needed $100,000 to fix and flip a house. So I loaned him the money at 10% interest plus two points at closing. And he sent me $833 every month for six months. Y'all, I never went to Memphis. I never saw the property. I didn't hear from him until he would send me updates of the property and until he'd send me checks every single month. He was able to fix and flip that property, make me payments every single month. And then he ended up cashing out at six months, just like he said he would. And I got all my money back. So I was able to do it again and again. Y'all, private money lending is super duper awesome. And if you have equity in a house or you have a 401k or you have an IRA or you got an inheritance or you won the lottery, if you got some money, you can become a private money lender and you don't have to have $100,000. I have a friend in California that loans out 10 or $15,000 at a time. I've got friends in Pennsylvania that loan out 20 or $50,000 at a time. It just depends on the deal. And I love being a private money lender because I get to make more money with the same property. Don't sell these properties, y'all. Get them paid off and then you can loan that money out on other people's deals or you could loan it out to yourself to have a fix and flip project going on or to use that money to put down on an apartment complex. You could use the HELOC on your personal house to fund 20% down on a commercial deal. Y'all, I've said it before and I'll say it again. There are thousands of ways to make money in real estate investing. For me, I love creative financing. I love helping get these deals done and make a whole bunch of money so that we're kind of playing Tetris. We stack up a bunch of money and then we take down a lot of debt. And that way you can become a private money lender, which just opens up another stream of income. Y'all can do these deals. If I can figure it out, you can too. Let me know if you have any questions. I have one more bonus video for you on how I was able to create a free and clear property on industrial land and make my full investment back every other month. That is true financial freedom. That is like, infinite return on investment. And I'm going to tell you about it in the next bonus video.